What's up Capricorn, this is Soul here And Capricorn, this is your bi-weekly messages uh, Beginning August 6th and ending August 19th, 2018 Messages will be for uh, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising as well Alright Capricorn, I hope all is well And that you guys are uh, still enjoying your summer, what's left of it Anyway, um, using a different uh, card deck and, you know, because this is a new month, new energy and also uh, another deck, uh, the Rebel deck, which is Tarot with an Attitude. And I like this deck. I think I'm going to be using it for the bi-weeklies and the uh, general love readings. So I bought, they have a deck for... Um, singles and then uh, messages for couples as well uh two different decks i mean same makers but they have two different just to show you the second deck this is for couples it says couples edition um just to change up my energy just to see how you know uh it goes over uh and these are very straight to the point cards okay so if anyone is offended by the messages <laughs> Well, that's just too bad, okay? <laughs> but I feel that it's just, uh, sometimes it might taper down uh, the seriousness of the other messages that I give you in the, uh, you know, with the other cards. But anyway, let me just stop babbling. Capricorn, overall, what I'm picking up for you, uh, that could be taking place uh, during this two-week uh, period of time, potential energy to come. There's some sort of conflicting stuff going on. Now, the conflict is um, with other people, okay? There could be this whole um, instance of some sort of conflict, internal conflict that you're having, and it's not related to other people. The reason why I said that is because you have the uh, Ten of Chiefs, or 10 of, you know, if, if I'm not pronouncing this right, it's C-H-I-V-S. It's the, uh, oh, I forgot to show you. Romani Tower that I'm using, and they have different names for these cards. But this is actually the 10 of swords. And this showed up for, uh, Cap, wait a minute, I'm doing Capricorn. So, uh, the sign that I did before you, which was, um, Sagittarius. I believe it was Sagittarius. Well, whatever. And I noticed that um, normally in these, uh, when it comes to the Ten of Swords and any other deck that I have used, the all the swords are present in the body of the person that's, you know, laying on the ground or wherever. This particular deck here, there's one sword that's out. So, and then also, too, there's like a policeman standing over um this person and it looks like he's you know got paper and pen in hands and he's following a report um but this is heavy energy okay uh backstabbing energy now it may not lead to um any types of physical assault but it could and then you know there's some sort of police involved uh because he's right now to report and it's the reason why I like to use different decks because I pick up different image, you know, from the images, I pick up different messages. OK, so it could be something that's going on. And also, too, if you've followed me and you've ever heard me say that sometimes the Ten of Swords relates to uh, surgical procedures and yeah, in and out surgical procedures. But these surgical procedures can uh, and oftentimes be very, very painful, especially when they're coming out of anesthesia, if there was any anesthesia used. Um, but I feel that this could also be, uh, even though it's not the tower's energy, um, and but because the policeman is there, there's something going on. There's like, um, it could also mean that someone, you know, could be attacked. Um, and it's also a message to, you know, for me to say to watch your back. Normally, I don't pick up that type of energy. Even though it's a backstabbing type of card, I don't pick up that someone, um, you know, is out to get you or physically attack you. But because this cop is here now, this may not be something that's, you know, related to you directly, but it could be somebody that, you know, the reason why I say that is because of the overall card card that I had pulled for you for the two week period of time. And in terms of his energy is the high priestess, which is a major arcana that's in the upright. And I also uh always pick up that you know if you 
caught my videos before I always rem you know say that with the high priestess is oftentimes an opposition with another person the number two uh here we have in this particular deck uh the high priestess but she's with a baby so i don't know that if it relates to anyone being attacked and because there's a opposing force outside of anything that i'm picking up you know related to that the uh, high priestess shows up to say you know pay attention to your intuition um during this two week period of time whatever your gut instincts prompts you that you know go with that that's usually the correct answer and also too i feel that there is some sort of direct link or opposition with another person that may or may not end up in some sort of physical attack or not you know let's hope not um but the other interest uh that i have here uh, in terms of the energy for you though capricorn is th there's a great deal of conflict here okay the eight of swords or the eight of chives is here it mirrors the ten of swords now whether or not you have exchanges with these energies of gemini libra aquarius male or female doesn't really matter i do feel and this is still a positive card, but I'm going to get to that. But the other conflict of in interest that I'm feeling for you is because of the nine of chivs. You have the eight, nine, and ten of swords in this reading. And this is always about uh, some sort of despair, definitely mental conflict, someone cheating, someone having an affair, someone being you know, betraying you, lying to you, deceiving you in the upright position normally the nine of swords in the reverse is the ending of all of those things that i just um mentioned or it's um some sort of avoidance of those things that i just mentioned so you have the eight nine and ten there is um the ace of koros which is the ace of cups in the upright so this is sort of like officiality because you know with all the you know the nine the the eight nine and ten showing up here but it's in between the ten and the eight so i'm feeling that it could be you know some sort of a conflict with you know all types of relationships romantic friendship family it could also indicate to the following the ten of swords and then we have the high priestess with a baby here with her <clears throat> someone you know having to uh do some you know go through some sort of surgical procedure and it's done by cesarean section that could be standalone the ace of cups is a new beginning uh possibly in a you know a relationship it could be the start of a new relationship it could be start of a new job all of those things could be those what i just mentioned but there's conflict here and whatever those conflicts are and how they apply to you, that's, you know, that's what I'm, you know, giving you. So it could be a conflict that the cups represent children for me. So it could be a conflict with a child. Hmm. Eight of Swords is then, of course... You know, you're not sleeping well. You're restless. There's, you know, anxiety. Feeling like you're trapped. No way out. It mirrors the 10. Another card of conflict that's major. And this here, if you look at it, the Eight of Swords, there's a diagram of a, a person's body. There's two swords in that aren't touching the body. Then there's one. And nobody is there. It's just a diagram of a body. But you have the guy here with four swords in his hands. But one of the swords in the leg, if you can see it, there's blood coming from it. But there's nobody there. So that's the fear of unknown um, energies. Feeling like you're trapped in a situation. 
that's causing you know some sort of conflict for you you know high conflict because what follows that is the nine so it may be the fact that the ace of cups is here and you know the cups relate to emotions and relationships that some capricorns that i'm reading for are in direct conflict with another person and and as i said at the onset of this uh, reading it, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic it could be uh, family members friends co-workers you name it but it's in direct relationship opposition to somebody else opposing force forces are the uh, high priestess energy that i pick up oftentimes and the high priestess represents uh water sign cancer scorpio or pisces male or female the ace of cups represents those same energies then we have the um, your energy, which is the Knight of Bowlers or the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, underneath the Ten of uh, Swords, you, there's some Capricorns. That are, either there's a conflict that's going on uh, and it's directly related to the job because the Pentacles represent work and finances. Or well, there's something going on, it may be just something going on with the job, within a job, and there was some sort of accident, work related accident. So, if that is the case, and you know, I always talk in pretense, please be careful, make sure that you're following all safety precautions when it comes to your work. This night could represent uh, female energies as well. It's still regarded as the knight in shining armor since it's in the upright uh, position. Also, too, because he's holding a wheel and it's on a horse. Uh, and this is giving me an a indication of uh, what I'm feeling is like it could be a tire rim or something. So it could be... Um, be careful around moving objects, vehicles. And I'm just feeling and hearing something to do with accidents. Okay, so be careful, Capricorn, please. Uh, just be careful in whatever you're doing and follow all safety rules and regulations, whether it's in the workplace environment or if it's just you're out and about in general. Okay, pay attention to what's going on. I'm picking up a lot of conflict here. All right. There's also the hangman, which is uh, someone who could be uh, waiting in the balance about possibly a new job or new love. Could be a you know, new friendship or waiting for a birth of a child. That's the hangman. This also, too, is an indication for you to um, don't rush right in and moving forward. Whatever uh, things that you have, you know planned or want to move forward in this is saying take your time you have all the time in the world uh, because you don't want to rush in and do something and then you know have it come back and bite you and haunt you and you know in your ass so the four of coaches is the last card that i have for you and and like i said before uh capricorn you have such a mixture so the four of coaches is the four of wands. Now, this is always a, uh, you know, a happiness card for me, but it all depends to what's surrounding it. So I'm feeling that because it mirrors the nine of uh, swords over top is the eight of swords that someone is having some sort of conflicting energy related to some type of, you know, living arrangement with another person number two high priestess so i don't know if it's you know infants are involved or children are involved with the ace of cups four of koshas four of wands represent leo aries sagittarius male or female outside of any conflicting energies now this could be someone who's in conflict of possibly wanting to uh, move or relocate to a different area uh, this card has been showing up quite quite a bit here, so I I've, I've been picking up that you know this month here in particular uh, relates to you know possibly 
you know, people going back to school, college, dormitory. So, you know, this could represent the building, dormitory. And then you see the train in the back. So that's moving or uh, going in a different direction. It's normally positive, but I'm picking up a certain uh, element here when it, when it's, you know, other things that are, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that I'm connecting it with. And it focused on the nine of swords and over top is the eight of swords, but somebody's in great conflict. And then we have the ten of swords, too. Okay. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope it's made some sort of sense. If it's not for you, then don't, you know, waste your time trying to figure it out. You know, use what you can and then leave the rest alone. So anyway, let's get right to the rebel cards. And for the single uh, Capricorns, I have selected the uh, card, rebel card. It says here, believe. And these are double messages. So it's like, this is the one message and then I'll turn it over it says believe what you see and it says uh, face reality or live in fucking la la land choose bravely okay and like I said before these cards are very directive if anybody is offended then you know that's just too bad I'm, I feel I'm going to continue to use these for the coupled Capricorns this is and like I said this takes the it sort of like downplays the seriousness of these readings when they come out this serious. Uh, tantrums are for babies. And the message is for you. It says grow the fuck up. Okay? Plain and simple. That's your message for the next two weeks. Capricorn, I hope it's helpful, beneficial. I uh, do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead. Always emphasizing safety, especially because of the messages that I picked up in relationship to the 10, the night, eight and um nine of swords okay be very very careful sending you quite a bit of love and light your way until i talk to you again capricorn please be well bye oops <laughs>